Over the span of 10 years, from December 2010 to December 2020, I've created 8 Flash games. So today, folks, I've decided to look back at the Flash era of my game development journey and share some numbers. I'll do my best to keep this video short, concise and to the point, so if you want more details on any game mentioned here, I've already recorded a whole separate video on each one of them. You'll find links in the description. Don't Eat Lost Berry was my first ever attempt at creating a game using Flash. It was a simple puzzle game where the objective is to compete with the computer by removing berries from the field. The one who removes the last berry loses. I began working on it in December 2010, while at the same time learning Flash's ActionScript 3 programming language virtually from scratch. After creating a prototype, I abandoned the game for almost a year before finishing it in August 2011. I spent nearly two months developing Don't Eat Lost Berry and it earned me $2.86. My second game, Turtle Dreams to Fly, was created during a break in the development of Don't Eat Lost Berry. It was a launcher game where the objective was to launch a turtle and see how far it could fly while collecting various bonuses and artifacts. I began working on the game in January 2011 and it took me 6 months to complete. Turtle Dreams to Fly was the first game I successfully sold to a sponsor, earning me $713. In August 2011, I started working on Symbiosis, a large-scale strategy game where you as a player are expected to plant and grow trees to defeat an alien life form, Crystal. Symbiosis took me 14 months to develop and earned $10,000. $264. That's when I decided to quit my daily office job to become a full-time indie game developer. When I was young, was born as a quick contest game project I switched to for a few weeks while still working on Symbiosis. I started it in January 2012 and it took me only one month from start to finish. It was my first game in the platformer genre and I successfully secured the prize winning third place with it. When I was young earned me $2,577. Rocked was the first game I made after quitting my daily office job and my second contest project. It was inspired by the Arknoid mechanic, but with a twist. Instead of moving the pedal, you move the blocks here. I spent nearly two months creating and polishing the game and it earned me $802. Next was my first ever sequel called Symbiosis Greenland. I retained Symbiosis' main mechanic, but added a new winter setting, completely new levels and a bunch of new skills, power-ups and challenges. I began working on this game in March 2013 and somehow managed to finish it in only 3 months. Symbiosis Greenland earned me a whopping $9,733. The Choice is a puzzle platformer game about love and betrayal. This was my third and final contest project, falling just a few hundreds of a point short of reaching third place. I began working on it in August 2013 and it took me two months to finish. The Choice earned a total of $2023. Finally, the last game in this list is Get a Little Gold. It's an idle slash incremental slash clicker game with an extremely deep and sophisticated prestige system, including various skills, upgrades, researches, amulets, artifacts, mascots, and so on. While I spent nearly three years developing my first seven games, the last one, Get a Little Gold, 
took me seven years. I started working on it in October 2013, released it on Congregate in three years, in October 2016, and over the next four years, until Flash technology was completely discontinued, I worked on various content updates, bug fixes and special in-game events. The gross revenue of Get a Little Gold was nearly $105,000. However, the amount I received after Congregate's commission and taxes was somewhat lower, closer to $70,000, I believe. Currently, I'm working on porting Get a Little Gold from Flash to Unity and releasing it on mobile devices. The game is already available for closed testing. I leave a link to the video explaining how to join the testing in the description. If you want to follow the process of Get a Little Gold's creation, make sure to subscribe to this channel, as I regularly post the vlog videos about it. And if you want to learn more about my most successful game, watch this video next. Thank you for sticking around till the end and see you in the next video.